Governor Tony Evers filed his response to a lawsuit by President Donald Trump's campaign to toss out more than 200,000 votes. 12 News' Caroline Reinwald is live outside the Wisconsin Center where Milwaukee County recounted its ballots last week. Caroline, Governor Evers' response was due by 8.30 tonight. That's right, and that's an incredibly quick turnaround for a lawsuit that was just filed this morning. In that lawsuit, it alleges that absentee ballots were not obtained or even requested correctly. It also calls out ballots that Milwaukee County officials wrote on uh, that we have been told were simply the words Milwaukee, Wisconsin on ballots that didn't have the addresses filled in correctly. Now, in Governor Evers' response tonight, he calls President Trump's lawsuit a shocking and and outrageous assault on our democracy. He points out Trump did not go through the circuit courts and simply jumped straight to the state Supreme Court. He also brings out that the president is only targeting Dane and Milwaukee counties in his lawsuit. Evers backs the two counties election commission saying the votes have been counted twice now and both times point to Joe Biden as the winner. Listen to what Mayor Barrett and the Milwaukee County Election Commission had to say to me tonight. It's really a floundering attempt to somehow win the election in Wisconsin, which we have confirmed that President Trump lost by over 20,000 votes. But the reality that Donald Trump simply cannot accept is that when you have an election, oftentimes there's a winner and there's a loser. He was the loser. That, that happens. That happens in democracy. And he's going to have to come to grips with that because this country... Caroline, now that Governor Evers forward. has responded, what's next in this case? So a ruling could come at any time, Patrick, uh, but because there was that quick turnaround that the Supreme, state Supreme Court wanted that quick response from Governor Evers, that is a good indication that they may want to have a ruling on this as soon as possible. And we'll be on it. Caroline Reinwald reporting live in Milwaukee tonight.